I'm Brandon Allinger from Prop Store, and we are here today to take a look at some of the great artwork lots that we have coming up in our entertainment memorabilia live auction in London. Uh, these are original storyboard artworks, hand-drawn storyboard artworks for the original trilogy of Star Wars films. Uh, these were done at Industrial Light and Magic. You can see they're done in ink pens and marker. Uh, these particular two here are being sold as a lot, and you can see they're labeled SB891 and SB892. And SB stands for Space Battle, which would be the space battle sequence in Return of the Jedi. And you can see these two frames go together in sequence. And essentially what you're seeing here is a TIE fighter in pursuit of a Y-Wing fighter, the Rebel Craft. Uh, and in the second frame you see the TIE fighter has taken the Y-Wing out. They're not design reference in the sense of designs of the ships or the things that appear in the frame, but they are designing shots and visual movement within the film. Uh, and I just love the artwork on these. This one is labeled RA-15, which would be, I believe, the Rebel Assault sequence. Uh, 15 just being the, the shot number within the sequence. And this one, you can see it has a small pencil thumbnail at the bottom of the page, which is a thumbnail by ILM visual effects art director Joe Johnston. So essentially, Joe Johnston did a small thumbnail on this, and then the final uh, pen and marker artwork was done by ILM artist Dave Carson. So Dave Carson is the artist on this. And um, one thing that you notice when you look at it, it's got a few of the Rebel ships and then we've got the, the X-Wing and the A-Wing. And then the star field, it's very interesting the way they did the star field background. They would take little toothbrushes and coat them with white paint and flick the white paint flex onto the, uh, the black marker space backdrop. So this was one of my personal favorites. You can see it's also marked D for Dave as they went. Uh, there were several artists working on the sequence, Joe Johnston, Nilo Rodas, Jamero, and Dave Carson. And this one, the D, just indicates it was, it was drawn by Dave. We've got a few more here which are from The Empire Strikes Back that I can show you. Uh, these are interesting because in addition to the final artwork, we have the pencil preliminary to go with them. So, as I understand it, what they would do at ILM is Joe Johnson would sit down and quickly run off a pad of storyboard sketches just in pencil, simple line drawings, that he would then distribute out to the other artists, and the other artists would take them from pencils to final illustrations. So you can see the ink and marker here has been done again by artist Dave Carson, working directly from Johnston's pencil work. Uh, this one is CE10, which I believe is uh, Cloud Escape 10, or the Escape from Cloud City in The Empire Strikes Back. This one is dated November 7th, 1979. It's when the shot was added to the sequence. Uh, this one, you can see the, the star backdrop is not completed, so it was likely never used. You know, the storyboard sequence is something that was constantly evolving in these films. Uh, George Lucas would give input regularly, the art directors would come up with new ideas regularly, shots would change, sequences would change, and storyboards would be omitted. So sometimes you see original hand-drawn storyboard artwork that is marked omit. I think a couple of the lots that we have in this auction are marked omit, and that's essentially the reason. Um, here's another lot where again you're getting the original Joe Johnston pencil line drawing for shot CE9. And then we have for CE9 the ink and marker drawing. This is CE9 one of two. And then here is CE9 two of two. And you can see it's basically the Falcon evading TIE fighters with the Super Star Destroyer in the background. So these are some of the key artwork pieces that we have coming up in this sale. As a Star Wars fan myself, I was very excited to see these. It was wonderful to get to handle these for the sale. Um, as I say, we, we haven't had a great deal of artwork like this in the past, and I just think that they're very emblematic of what ILM was all about with these films and the great, great effects work that was done. So take a look at these lots and others that are included in our upcoming entertainment memorabilia live auction at PropStore.com.